about to cut while you cut your mic down, bro. You stay you fucking lit, yelling. Bro. You stay yelling. You gotta get hype, man. man. Get the Real vibes New up. York bars. <laughs> What's that box for? It's my soapbox. If you have important things to say, you use a soapbox. Ooh, welcome to episode 199, 199 of the Soapbox Podcast. Here's your boy, Sunny Tay. We got Karan to my left, a.k.a. Amal, with the purple and blue uh, sweatshirt on. You Patagonian. know what I'm saying? Patagonian. You know, I don't know what that is. I don't know who that is, but it Chill is what vibes. it is. Mountain you know vibes. what I'm saying? We got Big M to the right of me. You know what I'm saying? A.k.a. She's t- she, um, Tiny. <laughs> I, mean, I, I, I was just saying your whole thing. My fault. Emily so tiny. In the building. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Yo. We got two... Special guest, yes, come on, sir. <laughs> yeah, horn. Round of applause, round of applause. Yeah, you, know vibes, you know what I'm saying? We got Manny in the building, yes, aka sir. Stretch. You know what I'm saying? With the with the comp fit. Come on, man. Nah, that's I like a fire it. Fit. I he love got the fire. Ooh, love and it. the shades <laughs> off. Yeah. And the what shades are those? What shades are those? Uh. What shades are those, so bro? Gucci. Hey, yeah. talking shit, talking shit. Okay. And all the way to my right, we got Damo in the building. Yes, you sir. feel me? Yes, sir. Oh, no. <laughs> How you doing? How you doing? How you doing, man? How you doing? Cooling. Chilling right now. It's been a minute, bro. It's, it's been, been a minute, minute bro. bro. This is like, been these are like childhood time. friends, bro. Oh, like, God. We go minute. back, back. Like middle yeah. school type shit. Dead ass, yeah. bro. Dead ass. Damo, how you doing all the way over there, man? Yeah, bro. Good, <laughs> man. I, I ain't going front. I ain't see the little bros in a minute. Yes, like, sir, you feel me? The man. brodies. Thank you for pulling up. Thank you for coming to Jersey, Dead man. Ass. Thank you. Man, for you guys for making the trip. For real, for real. Word. Emily, how you doing? I am great. How was your uh, weekend? Yeah, how's your week been, Emily? So tiny. Emily, so tiny. How's your week been? It's been great. It's been good? Yes. You I ain't, have recovered. You, you ain't have to, like, press nobody. You ain't have to fight nobody. That's crazy. Argue with no. nobody. I argued. Okay, okay. I argued. That's a given. Wait, 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 wait. What you be doing? You got to... <laughs> yeah, well, why you, you got to like be that? arguing? People just don't <laughs> fuck with me, bro. People just don't fuck with me. <laughs> but they love to fuck with me. You look You look a little feisty. I ain't going to hold you. <laughs> I'm not. I know we just met and all. We we, we still getting to know each other, but you you a little feisty. I you can be tell. a little feisty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, I can't be small and timid. Mm. Mm. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> I feel Facts. like small people have to have a little like bark in them. You know, what it's yeah. like what's it called? Little man syndrome. Uh, oh Napoleon, fun? Yeah. Napoleon <laughs> syndrome. Yeah, Napoleon complex. <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. That's what it is. You know what I'm saying? Karan, <laughs> right. how you doing, man? How you doing, bro? Whew. It's been a long week, but, you know, we made it through. I want to thank Dante. Dante let me borrow his car for the whole week. That's a real childhood friend you know right saying? there. You know what I'm saying? That's fire. Yeah, round of applause That's for Dante fire. for the whole week, whole week bro. Man. That's love right there. I ain't gonna Come on, bro. I'm glad niggas, I was niggas helping the errands. We was getting groceries, going to the pharmacy. We was going to the mall, doing all types of shit. You so loud. Um, <laughs> you so loud, bro. <laughs> it's all good. It was good though. I appreciate you, Dante. No I appreciate you. you. I How you doing, Dante? Sure, How's your week been? I'm good. I'm good. I had a. I was in Jersey City for the week. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Jersey City. Um, was dog sitting my sister's dog, and she got a cute little dog. It's like a little. She looked like um Master Splinter. You know what I'm saying? You ever seen Master Splinter? You ever, you ever seen uh? No, I'm a grown man, Dante. <laughs> you never seen Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Nah, bro. I kind of skipped that. I swear Are you serious? I never, I never really. Have watched you seen it? Like that. Yeah. Dom, you seen it, right? Yeah. Man, have you seen it? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I've seen Teenage Mutant. No way. But I don't know what you're talking about. Oh my gosh. That's show? crazy. Teenage. Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, I've seen it. I just crazy. don't know what you're talking about. Y'all ain't have a childhood. Y'all ain't grow up watching Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Oh, y'all, y'all don't have a childhood, huh? I, mean, I, I, know, about I, I know, know about it. I know about it. Oh, <laughs> so Master Splinter, for those people who never watched the show, I don't know who I'm talking about. He was the OG of the whole. No, he was the father or the grandfather, whoever it is. But the he was rat? the yeah. He was yeah. The he was rat. that sensei. Facts. You said your sister's, your sister's dog Splinter. looks like the rat. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> you look like her. Wait, what kind of what kind of dog is it though? Um. A rat, a rat dog. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a. To be honest, bro, I have no you idea. Never know. I'm not. I'm not good Your at that. This is gonna press you for that. Oh God! Like but okay. shout out to <laughs> Bailey. Bailey's mad cute. Shout out to Bailey. That's you know what I'm saying? Okay. But my week was good, bro. It was oh, a good. Um, good. it was a good break. I okay, definitely okay. needed that break. It was um, good change of scenery for me. That's what's up. So I'm I ha- definitely appreciate that. I'm happy everybody had a good week. I'm happy. Yes. Shout out to Alexis. You know. 
Shout out to Lil Sis. Before we start, I feel like we asked all the guests like that we haven't seen in a long time, yes. like this question. So I want to ask Damo and Manny, for 2024, we, you know, a few months into the new year, how has your mental health been? Like, I, you know what I mean? We care about y'all. We care about our guests. We care about our homies, our family, yes, our friends, you know? We just want to make sure y'all good. Like, how has y'all mental health been? How y'all been? <laughs> the new year <laughs> first. You go first. It's been a roller coaster <laughs> up and down. Y'all looked at each other. That can't be good. <laughs> go that can't be good, <laughs> yo. Nah, nah, I feel like started how I expected it. Okay, that's a good okay. sign. I mean, it's just, things are going to happen, you just got to remove how you do it. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, mental health wise, like, you feel me? That's a real thing, but. Yeah. I'm chilling. Okay, okay. That's a good sign. Dealing with how I'm dealing with it. Okay, okay. What about you, Damo? So like, for 2024, to be honest, I started the year expecting the worst, you feel me? Really? And like, I ain't going to lie. Shit just turned around in just a week. Like, so awesome. That's for me. Awesome. So, wasn't I mean, was we just uh, talking about that? Yeah. Round, oh, round of applause. Round of applause. Okay, okay. I respect it. What's that called? Being a mm -hmm. pessimist? Is that the word for it? That's when you always yeah. expect yeah. the worst. Yeah. In any, any situation. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm kind of like that too. Like I feel here. like I'm like that, but that's how I deal with everything. Mm. Okay. So, so you like, expect the worst? Yeah, because even My if it don't now. get to the worst, like, I always expected the worst, so I'm yeah. just straight regardless. Mm -hmm. Facts. That's just trauma, though. Like, that's just some trauma shit. Like, yeah. you know, niggas who've been through shit, they just kind of just expect the worst shit. You know what I'm saying? Unfortunately. Yeah, I just feel like it's easier to, like, you know, like, go through life, mm. like, just expecting that it can go bad. You okay. feel me? Like, okay. mm -hmm. and that way you don't, you don't mess up your expectations because you're going to be even more mad. You feel me? Mm -hmm. If you was expecting something, it ain't happening. Yeah, like, that part. I agree. I agree with that for sure. So when the worst, so when the worst doesn't happen for you guys, and like 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 you said, Damo stuff, everything turned around within a week. Is it like a? Is it like a good feeling, or do you kind of take a step back, and be like, okay, this is not what I expected, like, and you kind of like anxious for moving on, like, when is the worst gonna happen? Um, or you take it for how it is. Like when it like when it hits you like that, <laughs> you obviously like you can see the smile on my face. Mm -hmm. Like yo, it just hits you like that. Like yeah, it's like yeah. dag, like dodge that. You yeah. feel me? And then it's like let's 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 prepare for the next one. Like if you if you're prepared, you're good. You mm -hmm. feel me? Like but like if you're not prepared, it hits way more harder. So it's like I just want to make sure I'm good for the worst, worst, worst. And it's just preparing, and it, it just gives you a it just makes you. It lifts you up mm, for sure. when, you, when you get that good news. That's a good mindset to have, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Definitely. I don't feel like, like, I live every day, like, on some regular. I don't, I don't feel like I'm expecting the worst every day, but mm -hmm. I just I'm know so glad you said that. Certain mm -hmm. things could happen. Yeah, I, I feel like I, I feel like I started off a little, like, depressed though. Nah, like, you good, bro. You no, good. Like, I'm not depressed, good. but it just kind of sounds like, I feel like if it's just so, if you're, I don't know, if you're filling your mind with so much negativity, like. How can you possibly attract happen. anything positive? It'd be real shit, though. Like, a lot of shit in this world is super negative, yo. And yeah. especially, like... I get yo, it. So I ain't gonna hold you, especially being, like, a black male, like, in, in America, yo. This so, like... We are the, 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 the least thought about, the least, like... Like, it, it, it's like a... It, it's literally a, a, a campaign of, like, trying to demise and, like, demasculize, like, the... Yeah, bro, it's a campaign. It's not like super blatant, but like if you really pay attention to what's going on and like right. you do your studies on how shit is actually declining, like I'll be on my shit, bro. I'll be on my studies, like looking at how shit was, like even in the. I know we getting deep and shit, but mm -hmm. like shit is getting worse, bro. Mm -hmm. Like mm -hmm. our people, we're, we're like black men are the highest as far as suicide rates. Facts. You know what I'm saying? And like we're not even like ten percent of the population. Like, bro, we're the most incarcerated. You know what I'm saying? We're the most unemployed. Like, yeah, this dark shit, bro. Not to get sad, but you yeah. know what I'm saying? <laughs> it I is mean, what it is. I just feel like, I mean, it's it, you don't go about your day moving like the worst is going to happen. Yeah. You feel me? Like, like when you're a black man, like, you feel me? Like, that's just regular. It's yeah. just, just be, be ready if that happens. You yeah. feel me? Yeah, yeah. Right. But you don't go outside, you know, projecting your energy onto other people. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. You feel me? But for the most part, like, you should always go out. You should always say hi to everybody you see. You know, be nice. Yeah. You know, have fun when the occasion is right. But, but good, good vibes, you know, good energy. Some in people in take having fun too far. Mm. You that's feel me? Sure. Mm -hmm. And sure. that's that's really what you got to control. 
That's real shit. Damn, this is like a fucking PSA <laughs> NPR shit right now. <laughs> Dear Dante. Nah, mm-hmm. it's what love. I love. Um, how do you feel about that? Because I heard you was happy that he, that Manny said that. Oh yeah, well, I mean they fix it. Because <laughs> I thought they were just walking around this earth with like this nah. black cloud over their head. <laughs> nah. That was scary. Know. We have a lot of fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, y'all been outside. Fun. Have a lot of fun. <laughs> Come on, I'll, man. I'll be walking around like <laughs> mad or like thinking somebody gonna do something to me. But yeah, so. Yeah. Since you guys be outside more than more than me and Karan be yeah, outside, I don't really be outside. be outside like that. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I feel like Manny is nah, bullshit. Manny definitely, that's definitely that's be outside, bro. You just on vacation? Yeah. Nah, like I, I move around. <laughs> <laughs> I move around. Move around in quiet silence. <laughs> I move around. I'm okay, outside, okay. I guess. Sometimes. Be low key with it. Do you think there's a change from being outside compared to how it was back in the day? From like, like what? From what time frame? Like, like high the, school type shit? No, just like even even like early college years or whatever the case may be. Like just from yeah. twenty twenty four until back then. Like I feel like 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 what does outside look for you now compared yeah, to like fucking like college? More, I got more money, so outside. Okay. Definitely Woo, definitely talk that shit. Talk that shit. Nah, not it's even. Different. So like, <laughs> it's different. <laughs> Nah, just I feel like outside is different. Like before, like when I'm in college, I don't got nothing. I don't got no money. Yeah, that's, that's true. I don't really got anything. So me going outside is like me going outside now. Like I go outside with my peoples and wherever we go, like we just split everything. Like, mm-hmm. like, like not my girl, like or my friends. Yeah. Like we go out, like we just we split everything. So. Is it less fun though now compared to like back then? Nah, it's more fun. Cause, you think so? Yeah, cause everybody. Like, they up now. They're I'm a little also up understanding now. what's not even just about the money. Like I'm also understanding what's going on around me. So mm. got you. I'm aware. So it's like I know where I want to go. Like before, back in the days, Facts. if somebody's like, "Yo, let's go outside," I'm going anywhere. Okay. Mm-hmm. But now that's, I kind of know where I fit. So that's funny because my answer was going to be, "It depends on the spot." Mm. You feel me? Like you can't just go anywhere and have fun. Like you got to know, you know, the vibes that's already there. You know, like you could go somewhere and have bad music. Yeah. Facts. You feel me? Or like, you know, say you just go somewhere and it's just like mad Mexicans and you just wanted to l- listen to hip hop all day. Yeah, yeah. You right. feel me? It's like, you got to know the spot you're going to for a fact. <laughs> That's 100%. Okay. So, uh, I usually have an icebreaker question. And I was going to start with some bullshit. Talk to me. <laughs> it was going to be some bullshit, but... You ain't think the black man and, and our depression was an icebreaker? <laughs> that was kind of deep, bro. That was a little deep. That was, that was too deep. That was that a was good too one, though. I like that one. It was too deep for me. Pause. I, uh, I don't mind going deep. Pause. Pause. But <laughs> you know, you gotta you gotta start with the jokes. But you got me into this mood, so now, um, so me and Emily, I'm sorry, I don't mean to put your business out here. That's fine. No, nah, that's what we do. We put everybody's <laughs> business. Out. Me and Emily was having a conversation on our way here, and um, how do I want to phrase this question? What are you talking about? We <laughs> <laughs> We was talking well, about, talking about we was talking about looking at our past selves Ooh. and giving our past selves grace or still having kind of disdain for our past self. So like we're not happy with the way we did or the actions that we moved, the decisions that we made back then. Mm. But where we are now, we look back and it's like, nah, I, I don't fuck with that. Um, I believe because I definitely had like my past was fucking wild. So I always look at my past as a reminder where I don't want to be, but I also don't, I give my past self grace. And by grace, I mean in like, you don't get mad when you look in your past self. You don't like just get accept upset. You just accept what happened mm. and you realize if it wasn't for that, I would never be the man I am today, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So I guess my question to you guys is, do you... How do you feel about your past selves? And like, how do you look at it now with your mindset? Do you kind of cringe sometimes? Or do you be like, nah, I was fucking wild and, but I understand why I was the way I was, but I was still fucking wild. (laughs) (laughs) If that makes sense, if that makes sense. You trying to go first? Go ahead. I mean, so boom. I really didn't want to go first. <laughs> nah, I didn't want to go first. I really didn't want to go first. I ain't going to lie. I didn't want to go first. Shit, but like, so boom. So like, 
I look at my past self like all the time, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and oh, I'm like, yeah. dang, bro, like, mm. I wish I still played ball. You mm -hmm. feel me? Stuff like that. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. Like, like I wish I could still go out to parties all the, any night. You feel me? Like, shit, shit you low key took for granted. Yeah, like, when you, were young, you feel me? Like you know? stuff like that. So like, like, but I also look at the mistakes I made too, and I'm like, yo, that that's why I know what I know now. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, right. Sure. Feel me? But I mean, um. I love my past self. I feel like if you look at my past self, you'll see why why I am how I am right now. Like, mm. you feel me? But you don't regret like any of like the wild shit like that you that you might have done. Like, um, regret is crazy. Mm. Uh, mm. I just feel like um, you know, I do wish certain things I didn't do certain things. Like change. Like you know, I'm married right now. You feel me? Hey, and, well, you know, like like oh, certain things that I did in my past, I just. You know, I don't wish I took it back, but I wish I handled it differently for a fact. For sure, for sure. You feel me? So, like, I mean, yeah, you look back at that stuff and you just, you know, wait for, if you made mistakes in the past, like like I did, you just wait for that to come back and you just handle it better. Mm. You feel me? Like, no shit. and that's, that's really, like, that's what, that goes back to earlier when I was like preparing for the worst. Like, you feel me? You did things in the past that, you know, you either didn't repent for or whatever. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's, it comes back. You just gotta, you know, pace your life a little slower we i'm 30 now i can slow down yeah, yeah, and yeah. little wait for all that stuff to hit and then go back up gotcha. you know what I mean? but i'm up already like i feel like i'm up like i'm just you know just loving my life yeah. to be honest it's really what it is just loving your life loving everything you did that's fire gotcha. what about you manny i feel like like he said like my past kind of like it just made me who i am today like i feel like with me I don't gotta do too much now in my life, cause I feel like I already kind of did certain things. Like, mm -hmm. so like now I could just, like I see people, like I'm 29, I see people my age doing certain things that I don't really feel like I gotta do cause I did that when I was younger. Yeah, gotcha. Whether yeah, yeah. it was good or bad, but, so like I just think my past kind of just, I don't regret anything. Mm. I don't regret anything. Cause I also don't feel like I really did anything like only thing I would regret is if I really did something like to somebody like crazy in the past. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I don't really regret anything like like fights I got into or like arguments, like it is what it is. Yeah. I ain't really tripping. And like that's a that's another thing that strikes me about that question, cause like that's another thing I think about is like all the people I did bad. Mm. You know, cause I was just, you know, for myself at one point. You feel me? Like if right. it wasn't for like, you know, I mean if it wasn't my people's I was doing crazy stuff. You feel me? Like yeah, yeah, yeah. so, like you know, all the people that you know, like I said, like everybody I did in my past. I I hope to I hope if they got a problem with me, I hope to make that right. You feel me? But mm -hmm. like, I mean, they gotta approach me. Do y'all believe in karma? Yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. Y'all yeah, yeah. <laughs> believe like the energy that you put out, you are gonna get back in. You are gonna get back in some somehow, some Absolutely. way. Yeah. Whether that be you or your your kids or your family or some, Facts. somebody. Yeah. Type yeah. shit. Facts. Yeah, mm -hmm. I believe that shit too. Yeah. How do you feel about your past self, Quran? <sighs> uh, uh, do you give your past self grace, or you kind of be like, "What the fuck? Why were you so stupid back then?" It's hard, man. Cause I honestly, I don't reflect a lot on my past, man. Like, well, it's funny, y'all both choices too. So I really don't, <laughs> man. Like I'm, I'm always like, "What's next?" It's always like. Mad shit. So happened. you never had a day where you reflect on like past shit or like something that came not up. By, not like by myself. Maybe if I'm with like old friends or mm -hmm. like people. If I'm telling the story, I'm having conversation. Never just like by myself. Like oh shit. But I feel like that's the thing. Like we. I feel like that's the thing with age, though. Like you never really. I mean, I think that's that's when you are supposed to reflect. But like when shit happens, like you never. Like you you, you don't think about it until way later down the line. You know what I'm saying? For me, at least, like. I, I'm just like a always on the go person, like always like what's next. I'm mm -hmm. low key like so you don't I'm, a, I'm like an over planner, bro. Like I, I gotta be like <laughs> so you don't I be, have time. I be like having anxiety when it comes to like what's next in the future and shit. So, so you never really sat down. Yeah, you said you a Taurus. I'm a Taurus. I'm a Taurus too. Hey, Where's your birthday? May tenth. You a Taurus too? Yeah. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Uh, May fifth. Oh, say go tomorrow. Shout out yeah. to Jerry. Jerry, yeah, 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 me and Jerry. That's my dog birthday. Yes, Shout out to Dior. You heard? No worries. Yeah, facts. Taurus game. That's crazy. I, I never met a. I mean, I do know a few overthinking okay. Tauruses, but yeah. it's not. I don't know too many. Are you like that? Are you like an overthinker? I became like that. Like mm. now, I, like overthinker. 
I plan for the worst, but like that, I don't overthink anything more than that. Damo's always like been like the wise dude, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. Damo's, I feel like ever Coach since Carter. I've known him, like he's always been like the older than his age type of person. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's the glasses, glasses, bro. <laughs> glasses. <laughs> glasses, bro. <laughs> glasses. He's, wise with, He's wise with it. <laughs> I feel like people that wake up and have to wear glasses every single day. <laughs> Yo, you feel me? Come on glasses. now. Glasses game. Been a smart nigga. I ain't gonna Come hold you. Come on, man. Glasses. They always hey, been man. smart niggas for some reason. Hey, man. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> so, um, Emily, how do you feel about it? I don't like my past. I'm going to put you out there, my fault. No, I don't care. I don't care. I'll do it. It's therapy. Talk about it. Yeah. yeah get it I don't out. like them. Like what we were saying in the car, I don't, I don't, I guess I, I associate grace as an excuse. So. As an excuse? Yeah. I feel like if I look at my past and I'm like, yeah, that was wrong, but I did it because of this, like in a way that's me saying it was okay and it's not. But isn't that just understanding why? Like, I feel like it's always good to know why you did something. You know? I know why, but it still doesn't justify it. But like to be mm. actually conscious of like, I feel, no, it doesn't justify. Like, really no, it doesn't hard. justify. Like, it's, just, no. it's like really hard. For, yeah, like I just don't. Like I, I, I really it. love who I am now, and I love how I think now. Mm. So when I think back on that, it's like, it's like gross to me. It's like trauma. I guess yeah. Respect it. Okay. Okay. You respect I feel it? that. I respect it. I, mean, I feel it. Like I, mean, I feel it. I don't agree, but I feel it. <laughs> <laughs> I know nobody agrees. Clearly, I feel like you're just probably like over, like really hard on yourself. Hey, you're a Taurus too, right? Yeah, yeah. Taurus game. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, I just feel like you're probably like really hard on yourself type shit. But like, I feel like it's a good thing to acknowledge like yeah. why you did the things you did and like why you were thinking the way you thought. You know yeah. what I'm saying? I just feel like everybody yeah. different too. Yeah. You feel me? Like, and then there's a time for everybody to you know go back and be like, hey, you know, like mm-hmm. eventually you probably might go back. Yeah. You feel me? But mm-hmm. we all young still. Yeah, they, we mad young, yo. Word. I used to think that like 30, like th- late 20s. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'm, we 20, I'm 27, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to think like, yo, when you 30, that's like wash age. But like, <laughs> yeah. you, but when, you get to that, when you get to that age, you feel like, yo, that's mad. You're like, dude, yo, like, wash That's what people... Oh I used to, no, bro, no, when I was I, 16, I, I used yeah. to think 30 was, like, impossible to reach. Bro, yeah. I took 10 years coming to terms that I'm about to be 30 <laughs> 10 in, years. In, in, in two months. Like, <laughs> I just feel like, does it feel good now to know, like, that you made it? You're almost um, there? Honestly, yeah, years. bro. Yeah. It's like, it's like I'm looking back, and, like, the old heads, they used to always say everything recycle. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. And, like, I'm really watching everything recycle. And mm-hmm. I'm like, yo, that's crazy. Like, you feel me? Like, drill. I, I'm into drill. You feel me? All the old songs that that Come was back. recycled. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? TV shows they making mm-hmm. movies out of it, or a movie they making a show out of it. Right. You yeah. feel me? Like That's it's crazy. Life, like fashion. They don't even talk fashion. It's yeah. crazy, yeah. bro. Like yeah. <laughs> facts. I think for me with my past, I put it as a. Um, I know you don't reflect on your past. I know you blocked that shit out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a fact. I know you do, bro. I, I don't think about my past. I hate when people bring up stuff about the past. I'm not going to hold you. you. I hate that shit. But Why, though? Is it too hurtful? No. I just feel like you're still thinking about it, and you still have it hold so much weight. So, like, my mom. So, to make an example, my mom, now she got some healing from it, so she passed it. But my mom used to always tell me the story about how this woman did her dirty, and she still brought it up. And that happened 30 years ago. Mm. She still brought it up. And I was like, why do, you, why do you keep bringing this stuff up? Like, every time you bring it up, you still have the same type, same anger that you had all the way back then. I was like, that's not okay. Yeah, I yeah. feel like you shouldn't talk about the past. And for it to still bring up that anger that you had 30 years ago, that's a problem to me. So, like. How can you control that if it happens? I feel like you have to, going back to the grace thing, it's not about, you have to look back on it and be like, okay, that happened. Why did it happen? And what happened after that? And I feel like once you come to the turn, once you once you become okay with your younger self and what your younger self did, and why he or she did that, every time you bring up that story next time, you won't have so much anger because now you have a better understanding of why you did what you did back then. It's still not an excuse. It's right. still fucked up what you did. Like it's not okay, but that should have been thirty five years ago, bro. So right. you're telling humans to not be emotional? Like it's a fucking contradiction. Like <laughs> I feel like that's the downfall of people. It's like their emotions and. 
Like, I feel like half the people, half the most, I feel like 98% of people in jail who have did some stupid shit, mm-hmm. it was all because of emotions. But some people can be, to them at the time. yeah, but some people could be slaves to their emotions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And that's when it becomes a problem. And that's why, uh, that's why we started off the podcast dark as fuck. <laughs> you, know what, you know what I'm saying? It's, oh, like, God. Yeah, but, I feel like the old heads, that's, that's old heads for you. Yeah. You feel yeah. me? Like, they faced a whole different type of trauma. Yeah. You feel me? Like, we got yeah. way more knowledge in how to fix our stress and all that stuff, communicate. Yeah. You feel me? Like, they don't, they lack in almost every department of those. You feel I me? Agree. So it's like, you know, like. I agree. Yeah, like, you feel me? As times change, you're going to see it's a, a lot, a bigger, a happier society, even mm-hmm. through the war, if there's a war. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like, it'll be a happier society. But the old heads, they just, I don't know. I be trying to talk to my moms, bro. You feel me? Yo, and like, it's like talking to a brick wall, like, bro. Like, 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 I'm weeding out her because, like, I understand. You feel me? Because, okay. like, you know, like, she from the 60s. You feel me? That was, mm-hmm. it was, times. yeah, you know. So I, I weed at it. I be like, yo, ma, I'm like, that's not right no more. You feel me? Like, yes. that's not how we moving no more. You feel me? And, like, yeah, yeah. she'll understand some of it, and sometimes she, she just won't. You feel me? And if yeah. I get one... You feel me? I try to get one a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. If I get one, bro, I don't even bother her no I more. Mean, you feel me? Cause trying to get one idea to get through to her. Yeah, like, like you feel me? Yeah. <laughs> Word. I, was, I was gonna ask like you and uh, you and Manny, like how do y'all listen to y'all old heads? And I'm not even talking about like your parents, your old like heads. old. I'm even like dudes y'all looked up to. Dudes that might be five, ten. I mean, cause y'all got like older siblings and shit. So like, how did <laughs> how do y'all like choose like? What am I trying to say? How do y'all choose to like what pick advice? and choose what the fuck you like listen to or like not be disrespectful but be like yo like I know like with age comes wisdom but like this is some different times like a lot of old like older heads like they be stuck in whatever ways they grew up in or whatever times they're they're in but it's like how do you choose how do like I don't know man how do y'all not be disrespectful and just like still rock with y'all old heads but do it um, y'all way. That makes sense. You know, when you hit that first stretch. I feel like with me, like my my pops, like like my pops or my mom's, like they not just like like what you call old heads, whatever. Mm. But they from Nigeria, so they're not even from here. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. So for me, like a lot of things is different. Different. Mm-hmm. Just like it's the way like I was raised, the way they think of things. So I kind of I didn't really understand that when I was younger. Mm. But now that I'm older, I understand that more. So I feel like for me, it's the opposite. Like, mm. like now I kind of understand them a lot more now. So like, I kind of deal with what they saying. Diff- like, so I just had a talk with my pops last night. Oh, not last night, yesterday. And he was saying something to me and I didn't, I didn't even agree with it, but I ain't say nothing in the moment. Mm. But as I just went about my day and I was thinking about it, mm-hmm. he was right. Mm. So like, like I said, like, but yeah, he be saying, like, my mom's, my, he be saying stuff sometimes. Like, my mom's is different. Like, my mom's is more hip, so. Okay. My mom's kind of understand, like, what's going on now. Yeah, like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. my pops, he, he, he understand, but he's still, he's like. He's still stuck in his ways. Yeah, like he's shit. super <laughs> stuck in his ways. My mom, like, I could talk to my mom, like, like, my mom's gonna watch this. Like, like my mom's, like, Shout she's. Mom. Yeah, Shout like, she's, mom. like, my mom is different, so she's, like. Mama Uko. She gonna really, like, understand, like, what's going on, so. Mm. I'm happy um, you said like even like when you said you at the at the point at the time your pop said something you didn't like you was like what the fuck you didn't agree with it but like as you sat on it you was like oh shit like he's he's right I hate he's my right. Parents are right that's I, a good thing like I used to, to always think like shit. when my dad like when I was younger I used to always think like I like he thinks this is Africa he thinks this is Nigeria <laughs> yeah 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 mm-hmm. but like it don't matter where you from like some shit like, still applies man you know what you're talking about if you know yeah. what's going on like. Like my pops came in from Nigeria and he's successful, so like I expect. it don't really matter where you're from. So I kind of grew up and then I started to really realize like what he's saying. He's like really telling me some shit. Facts so. like, for sure. What about you, Damo? Like me personally, I mean, um, I definitely heads. agree with Stretch. Like I mean, like I'm really I, I chill with the old heads. Like. You feel me? Like, I'm not going to lie. So, like... On a regular like, basis. On a regular you basis. Say shit off. Like, you're not the type that's going to, like, come, like... Yeah, I hear what be they... Dis- uh, disagree or, like, be argumentative yeah, like, and shit. Like, I do... I, if it's crazy, it's crazy. 
we Tauruses, bro. Tauruses, we known for like, yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we hard headed. And we, mm-hmm. we suck in our ways. We like fight that shit. Yeah. See, like the crazy thing is, I'm I'm not as hard headed as like most Tauruses. I'm hard headed as fuck. But like that's after I get certain information. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like okay. so, like so, like me, like um, I just listen. You okay. feel me? Like no, I don't feel like what people say is like bad information. You feel me? It's just you gotta mix it in with what you what else you know. You feel me? Like, but I mean, I, I mess with the old heads. Like, but like you, you that's the thing. You gotta keep a, a old head next to you. I say a few. You feel me? You gotta have a nerd. You gotta have a cool person. You feel me? You gotta have a whole different. Yeah, you feel me? You gotta have a whole different type of people around you for you to really be able to, you know. Yeah, like you know, understand everybody's perspective at least. Hundred percent, bro. For sure, for sure. Hundred percent. It just be suck when they're right sometimes. That should be getting me tight. That that uh, (laughs) That should be getting me tight. My mom's became my best friend because she was right about a lot of stuff, bro. Yeah, I feel you. (laughs) <laughs> you got a mom. You got a mom. His that. mom's is different. Like, yeah, like for her. His, his mom's, like, I'm going to speak on that. Like, <laughs> like, his mom's is like, she's old school, uh-huh. but she's still here. Got gotcha. you. Like, okay. like kind of what he said, but, like, I don't really even know. If, like, the way I see it from the outside, like, she's old school, but, like, she know what's going on right now. Still but she's dope. choosing to deal with it in an old school way, like, mm. Yeah, but she got like the perspective know, of like, like the new age of like she's what's going hip, on. bro. She, she knows hip. what's going on. Like I ain't gonna like, lie, she's hip. Like, like especially with me and her being closer, okay. she's even more hip. Cause like I talk to her, I say certain lingo's. I talk about what's going on in my world. She talk about what's going on in her That's world. Fire. You mm-hmm. feel me? Like yeah. so, yeah. Like it, she's hip. <laughs> That's what we need. We need that balance. Like, cause I see mad. You like, cause I be trying to like be more in tune with like the the younger kids and shit and. I see how a lot of them, actually, I ain't going to hold you. A lot of the younger kids I know, they're really good at, like, just communicating and, like, mm-hmm. talking to, like, everybody and shit. And I know for me, that used to be hard for me, like, talking to older heads and shit sometimes. But, like, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's necessary, bro. Like, Facts. you need the wisdom around you. Like, with years and age, it's wisdom. Facts. Like, we don't need that shit, you know? Facts. A hundred percent. hundred percent. Um, mature ass podcast. <laughs> I ain't going to hold you, bro. Oh, we, we about good with this yeah, shit, bro. We youngin' it up. All right. Like, what's yeah. up? I know. <laughs> young it up. Uh, <laughs> Yo, how y'all feel about having sex on the first night? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> that shit came out of love, Phil. I ain't gonna hold you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I told bro. You, I'm just throwing it out there, bro. I'm throwing it out. I'm there. married. You feel me? <laughs> you know, I'm in trouble, right? I'm married, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm definitely not against sex on the first night because I feel like you. For me, sex is a big part of a relationship for a fact. Like, if that's not right, I mean, you can fix it a little bit. You feel me? But nah. So, do you think? <laughs> do you think you can have? Um, a vi- you think that's a solid foundation? No. Uh, no. No. You gotta have. It's a little bit of everything that makes anything right. Mm. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't, I ain't having sex on the first night right now, but, like, if I did have sex on the first night, I don't mean nothing in no relationship. I'm not mm. making no relationship out of that. Off of that? That's real shit. Really? Nah. No, you shouldn't make it off of that. Not all. But is that somebody you would, like, that's that's somebody you would take serious? No. It wouldn't. Really? Oh. Wait, you said no? You if I had sex with her on the first night? You wouldn't yeah. take her serious? Like, how'd that go? Like, what you mean? Like, I've been talking to her and then, let's like, say not. Let's just say, like, it, it was natural, like it wasn't forced. Y'all was just yeah, it wasn't each planned. Other type shit. You it never wasn't met planned. her, and it's the I'm first time you meet. Just, never just, met her. I just met her. Maybe not y'all, that maybe day. y'all, maybe y'all, man, don't like social media. You know, yeah. nowadays uh, niggas. Uh, uh, and then the first time I chill, the first time, first time you chill with her, her yeah. Mm-hmm. Like let's say you've been texting her. Oh uh, yeah, that's that's different. That's different to you. Yeah, that's different than me going outside meeting somebody. Yeah, now that's crazy. I ain't mean it like that. I ain't mean it like that. Yeah, like if I go outside and I, and I meet someone and I clip it that night, like I'm not thinking. Probably won't no, even, that's why. I probably okay. won't even grab the number. What if it's fire yeah. though? Yeah. If it's fire. Yeah. You wouldn't even grab the number. Probably not. If she don't exchange it with me, hell no. <laughs> She's Wait, giving it up. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all niggas. Sound- I agree though. No, I agree. <laughs> <laughs> y'all niggas sound like y'all been through too much shit. Yo, <laughs> if, it's fire, you know, if it's fire, y'all not even getting the number. Y'all not worried nah, about that's it. That's what he said. 
That's me. I, I just feel like she's giving it said, up. Like she just you feel like she for the streets. And like, she's giving I, it up on the first like If we if we on social media right. and I know you from social media right. a little bit maybe or it's from school or whatever right. work like and I, I we finally get out somewhere and I, I hit it the first night. That's cool. But you really but don't. If know I don't know you media, at though. all and I hit it the first night, bro, it's crazy. I probably might even hesitate anyways. I ain't gonna lie. I got some. I got some funny shit that I do right. So like. If I chill with somebody, right? Like if uh-huh. I chill with a girl and she, the first night, if I if I'm if I if I'm looking at her like, like I'm really jacking her, right? Right. I might not even try to clip it, but if she going hard, then this is gonna change my outlook on it. You feel yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Outlook but, on her. Yeah, like, yeah. but that I don't go to every situation like that. But I'm saying like, it if depends, I went yeah. to a situation like that, and she's going hard for that, like. I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna definitely clip it, but Thanks. in my mind, now it's that. Yeah. So I might go there on some regular shit, like, and if she's not on that and we just chilling, we vibing out, all right, then second date type shit. Like, yeah, appreciate that a lot more. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a game out here. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> it, to it's me, so this shit really a game. It depends like, on the joint, too. Like, yes. you can hit certain joints on the first night. You can't yes, hit you everything. Can. You can't. How, how is it from a. Women's perspective, man. It's the same thing. When guys push on the first night, it's annoying. You looking at you looking at him different. Yeah. If he's being a little like. Yeah. Right, but what, but what, if, yeah. what if you wanted him that night, right? And then tell me whatever happens happens. Are you taking him serious no. after? Really? Y'all, t- y'all old school. Why is that? Dog. Why is that? Because. Like I was like I was saying like it's every little thing counts. So it's like that was your first. That's your moment to show me mm-hmm. how you're gonna. Where you see me and where you want to take this. If you're trying to fuck. What if you try to make love, though? You don't know me. It's the first date. <laughs> Making love on the first night is crazy. You don't know me. Making love on the first night is possible. Yeah. No, no, no. Making love on the first night is definitely possible. It's possible. <laughs> it's definitely but possible. I feel like, I feel like it's you're confusing. Possible. No, no. I feel like you're confusing making love and like. Fucking. No, no, no. no. And like being so excited that it's so spontaneous. There's a difference. What's the difference? Because yeah, just fucking could just be just fucking. But, like, if you're really vibing with someone and then they hit on your marks and then you get to that point, it's just exciting. It's fun. But, like, yeah. how can you make love when you don't really know them? What's making love? I don't know. I feel like it's like a soul tie. It's a slow pattern. Yeah. Like that's, eyes yes. Eyes like, <laughs> but, I, but that, I feel like <laughs> that. <the> first <laughs> night. That's what I'm it's saying. That's what I'm saying. I feel like. Nah, it, 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 it got to be like nah. fucking. But I feel like that's off of a bond. Yeah. What bond did you build on exactly. the first day? Like we bond, we bonded over the last but not, three hours we spent together. But that's another thing that he I was guess. saying that like like a lot of our mindset is the old way. You feel me? Like I chill with a lot of young people too. Yeah. You feel me? They be fucking. Yeah. You feel me? The female, fucking. the females too. You feel me? Like open. so, it's like it's like sex is more open now. Yeah. You feel me? So you fake gotta open up a little bit too. You right. feel me? Like for real. You feel me? But like yeah, what do you mean? bro. Like I'm saying, what like you, you gotta. No, but what do you mean? You open gotta, up a like, little bit too. Like, like me, I'm I'm not like them. You feel me? But I open like I mean I'm I'm married. Right. <laughs> but but in, <laughs> in, in, a, in, a, in an idealistic mindset, you feel me? Me being thirty, about to be thirty. Like you feel me? You would you know have to be open to fucking on the first night. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I don't agree. Wow. Wow. You gotta be open I'm sorry. To I don't. Agree. Like, Why do you agree, Karan? Like if everything, like I feel like. Mm. At a certain point, you're just for, like forced. Every, mm-hmm. No, like you wanted to say that. Oh, this is gonna sound like <laughs> now. Nah, let me take that back. Let me take that back. <laughs> I feel like if everything is going right and like you want to do that and you the chemistry is mutual, it's a difference if it's not mutual. If one person is like not feeling it and the other is too thirsty, that's a difference. And it's like, mm-hmm. all right, that's a problem. No, put your hand down. I'm talking, nigga. Dante got his hands up and shit. <laughs> but I feel like a lot of women like they they try to not they try to intentionally oh not want the chemistry it's like sometimes when women see things like going too well they'd be like oh this is a red flag like why society is the vibes right too there. good no. it's a society right there it's my the, boy. i think it's just <laughs> the Crazy. sex part i think it's cause everything could be going right you could be vibing and you guys can both want to have sex and have sex but taking emotions out of it it's still the fact that they were able to do that with you the first night like, that is just, I'm not taking you serious after that. I don't care how much you like me. I don't care how much we were vibing. Yeah, we both had fun. But now I see, like, 
the value you hold in sex, I guess. I think my uh, last three relationships oh. I had sex the first night and it was it was lit. Mm. It could be lit. <laughs> I just don't but I just wouldn't I would no longer see you as somebody like Oh, I could marry this man. But that's being judgmental, though. Like, it is. Because, like, what it if, is. like, he treats you well and, it's like, he actually cares about you? At that point, you're just going off of, like, what? Yeah. My thing is... Stomped it. To me, it's, al- it's almost, like, imp- it's almost <laughs> too impulsive. <laughs> so, my thing... So, to me, it's, like, if right. you're that impulsive, uh-huh. let's say I like you, I get married to you, <laughs> and we hit a dry patch... I'm going to think you meet a fire shorty having lunch somewhere. You guys have a great conversation like we did when we first met. And then you go and fuck her in the car. Hold on. Wait. I just feel like, hold on. I just don't get it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Yo, there's a lot of single people out here, right? Right. Like, yo, bro, I ain't going front, bro. I am married. I just want to make make everybody know this shit. Like, you feel me? There's a lot of single. Hold on. There's a lot of single people out here right now, right? I got a lot of single ass friends. Yes. You feel me? Yes. All of them are dating. Yes. You telling me every last one of them that they meet, every last new female or man that they meet, right? There's not one that you might fuck on the first night. That's what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, there is. Like you can. It don't gotta be every single time. You can. I'm just saying, me personally, I wouldn't. I would. I would have fun because in the moment, that's what I would want. But I would later think about it and be like, the fact that you can fuck me on the first night. I don't. That's okay. Nah, you can do it. Impulsive. Like, ain't nothing wrong with do doing it. it. Yeah. It's just like when you do it, like how you taking it. And I'm not judgmental. Like, you could fuck on the first night, I mean, and that could be your wife. Like, yeah. You know? yeah I mean, yeah. so my thing is, and I hear both sides. Like, I definitely hear both sides of the argument. I guess my retort would be, why aren't people just good with just leaving the night as it is? Like, like you said, let's say the vibes are vibing. Vibes are vibing. Y'all feeling each other, and y'all both know y'all could have sex right now. It'll be, fire. excuse me, it'll be fire. But why can't you just leave it at that? But like, that why does people on, want more? Person? That just depends on what you're in it for, though. So like, if you go into a situation and you like, damn, I want to clip that. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you're gonna try to do that on the first night. But if you go into a situation where it's like, yeah, I want to clip that, but also like, I think fuck with her or whatever you think, right? Like, you're going to treat it a little differently. Yeah. But that just depends on what you're doing. So my thing is, I feel like a lot of people in general just just try to block something that, like, could be that if that's mutual. Like I said, if it's mutual, if if both people want it, like, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. And because it's like... Yeah. No, I don't, my, think, there's I, 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 yo, I don't think there's anything it. wrong with going... In. There's been mad times I've been... I went into a situation no, wanting to have sex and then didn't because facts. the vibes wasn't there. And I'm like, ah... This is good, like, like yeah. yeah, it's cool, but I don't think I want that. So it's yeah. not like every single person that no, I meet. Agree. It's like I want to, but it's just like Agreed. I don't like when, or I don't really understand when, when people are like, oh, I want to do this, but eh, eh. it's like, why, why are you blocking a connection? Like that could happen. I, I don't know. I think I have more respect for someone that on the first date really fucks with someone and wants to, but still has the self control to wait. I but think I will respect someone a lot more. Cause I'll be like, but like, Damn. yo, let's let's make this clear, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I go on the first Ooh. date. Y'all can't be in the text messages talking crazy. That's yes. yes. And then no. when you get there, it's like, well, yeah. I'm not okay. talking about you. I'm not talking about you. I'm not talking about you. No, no, no. I'm saying like, that's fine. Like a girl can't be like talking a certain way. Then when you yes. get there, yes. then it's like, oh yeah, I'm chilling. Yeah. Yes. Like, cause you okay. ain't have you ain't no, have to talk to me like that. No, I know a lot of girls like do that. I know yes. a lot of girls like, do that. So that's the difference. So like extra. Yeah. Okay. Cause now you're giving me that type of time. I get it. You coming about it? So like exactly. I agree. All right. So then I'm I'm gonna say uh um. That was advocate. Kinda, I'm, I'm gonna speak for on my own experience. So there was a guy I was talking to, and we never crossed that line. We never had that conversation about sex at all. And then, why are you laughing? Because <laughs> he sounds thirsty already. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> why? Yeah, just keep going. <laughs> no, because I'm mad as fuck because he's you. right. But like, why? You. How can you? That be? should be obvious. What? Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. I know, man. Niggas be thirsty. So much because of that. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Had, that actually made me more attracted to him. That he was and thirsty? The, no, that he didn't talk about sex. Oh, okay, like okay. everything was about oh, like okay. spiritual, religion, politics, like deep shit. Like it was like cool. But in person, oh. and no, no, no. In person, he was also still a gentleman. Okay. The okay. vibes were crazy. It was great. Okay. I still, even though yes, a part of me probably wanted to. 
I was not in my head saying I'm going to do this tonight. Wait, wait, hold on. I, I feel like you to skipped go home something. Without it. What? Did he try to hit it or something? He did at the end of the date. But like what happened? Like how did it lead up to it? That shit was caught me off guard. Caught me off it guard. Always does. Oh my god. If my parents are listening, please stop. Please stop. Please, please stop. We got we went. I don't want to get too specific. The ball you're about to turn up right now. See, I told you. We we were out. We were out smoking. We were eating. What the hell just happened? First of all, please bleep that, Dante. Please. Please bleep that. My my bad. My bad. So that's what I'm saying. Like, I can understand why people have sex on the first night, but it's like, I don't think you can build something solid off of that. Because that, to me, that just shows like there's a certain part of you that lacks self-control. So for y'all watching, I know y'all, some of y'all watching for Emily. <laughs> vibe out. <laughs> vibe out. <laughs> vibe out, bro. Don't be thirsty. Vibe out. <laughs> Yo, Karaj like, shook over I'm here, bro. You, no, I'm <laughs> you, I don't know like, what just happened. I didn't know how to work that without explaining <laughs> exactly. I don't know like, what just happened. <laughs> Let me take a little break, though. I, mean, I think we need a break after this. Can we take a break? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. niggas, niggas might need a smoke break or something. Yeah, let's get it. <laughs> yeah, I got to get hot real quick. That shit was crazy. Yeah. You ready? Yup. Yeah, I can't right. wait, bro. All right, I can't wait. So, nah, I because it makes sense. You ain't getting nobody in trouble. You're not snitching. and died in nobody. <laughs> I'm not at all. Yeah, right? We're good. We're good. We're good. Hopefully, them edits, some post edits will be on point. <laughs> so we are back. We are back from our quick intermission, and uh, M has some shit she had to say. So M, yes, the floor is yours. Okay, so back to what I was saying. <laughs> I agree with the great vibes on the first night. Whatever, if it happens, happens. But after that, I just can't take you seriously because back to the example. You need a nickname. Monk. Oh, uh, <laughs> my bad. <laughs> um, Tyrone. Tyrone. Okay. Why is it always Tyrone? Tyrone gonna be tight listening. <laughs> That's a black nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, I don't know. Uh, I like having yeah. You can't say Tyrone. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> it's always a Tyrone that be pulling into this. Shout out to no. you, Tyrone. Okay, so Tyrone, he did everything right afterwards. He did. He was very reassuring. He acted exactly how I would want someone to act if I wanted something real. It just, I can't do it because if that happened on the first night, if we are in, we, we make it, let's say, five years and we hit like a dry patch and you're out to work or you're out to eat somewhere and you meet somebody and you connect like that, how am I supposed to know you're going to stop yourself? Let's trust. I don't think that's really fair because at that point, you should know his actions. Yep. Like, Three years from now. Hell like, fucking yeah. You're in a few months, a few Sorry. years. Like, you know how people's personalities are. Yep. So, yeah. like, if he's doing all the right things, like, you're still going to be on him from the first fucking date. That's I don't know. Like, so that means that right. you don't, you never really had full trust in him in the beginning. But she didn't let time. That's basically develop. what she's but saying, But to me, though. that's why. But you didn't yeah. let time develop so why'd to you, you could trust him or not. That part too, and if that's the case, why'd you get in a relationship with him? And you knew you he trust him. And, you, and just the preferences, she, she, mm-hmm. she said that he did all the right things. Like After she, she everything was, was great, still showing interest, and that she he wanted to get to know her. And everything was great. All that, but she still blocked the energy because of the first move. And you know, brothers, I don't know if he's a brother or not, but yeah. dudes, we humans make mistakes. Our, you know, sometimes we're not perfect. We're, you know, we're flawed. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel it's like me. if he was showing signs of interest and showed that he actually was into you. I think you probably should have gave him more of a chance. I probably could have, but then it would have felt like I was forcing it. Weird. It did start to feel like I was forcing it, which is why I had to stop. Right. Because it was just. I hate Taurus women. I ain't gonna Shut hold up. Shut <laughs> up. I ain't gonna hold you. I hate Taurus women, man. And but it was because of that I started to look at I started to look at every little thing I didn't like, and I just like magnified it. That's how it starts. Yeah, that's how it starts. Wait, so how long you tried the relationship with him? It was like a month. Oh, that's oh, crazy. That's crazy. I tried. Damn, bro. Yo, <laughs> yo, Tyrone, bro. <laughs> Hang in there, my brother. That's crazy. Tyrone she ain't even give you a right chance, now. bro. No. He even probably give you a does. Chance, bro. He definitely does. Tyrone like, munch it right yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. He good. Tyrone's good. Tyrone's yeah. somewhere eating something. <laughs> yo. Man, fuck Tyrone, man. What else we got to talk oh, about? Like, like, fuck this but nigga. But that's what I'm saying. So, like, I, I can't agree with the whole... I just, I to me, that just shows like, so you that's th- your continue, that's sorry. your weak point. Like you have self control up until there, and I 
I can't trust that. So my beef with women, when it comes to that logic, because a lot of women do think like that. A lot of women will see a red flag in the beginning and choose to ignore it, ignore it and see if they're able to develop, like you said, that trust within a couple of years in Malaysia. Like they like who that person is. Everything is fantastic, but that one red flag they can't let go. So mm. they choose to be in a relationship and to see if that will go away. Isn't that what you were just asking like me like that? Do? No, I did not. I didn't say shit. <laughs> you said somebody said you should have given him another chance. Yeah, that was not me. That chance. was not me. That was not me. <laughs> I definitely think you should have. But I think you should have. But see, right. isn't that what you were saying? No, I didn't even finish my statement. No, <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Carol. <laughs> so what I'm saying is that if you saw that red flag. In the beginning, why the fuck are y'all wasting both y'all motherfucking time? If you know yourself, Facts. and you know that you're not going to get over this. Like, it could be three years. Everything could be fucking perfect. But you know when he's alone, when he goes out with his coworkers, or he goes out with the homies, there's a, round, there's a lot of girls around, he be mac and he be chilling. That's not fair. That's going to be in the back of your head. Pre-judging, so though, like nah, it's prejudging, though. It's not prejudging because, listen, I know me. I know I have trust issues. You guys are contradicting so, the fuck out of me. I know so for me, if I know, if I have a certain feeling towards like a woman or something like that, I know I'm not even going to waste both my time. I'm not going to waste my time. Yeah. Okay, I'm just going to not even get my, as much as I even want to. I, I just feel like if, if you're going to have me dating you for just a month, it ain't worth it. You but it's not me? like I planned. Like, yeah, but that's, like, that's tr- the problem. I genuinely tried. Like, I was but it could have been a waste of time. Yeah, but that's the long. problem. At right. the end of the day, you tried it out so, and it was only a month. So was I giving him a chance? Or not, because well, I, well, to good. me, I was like, he's, I was looking at his good qualities, and I was like, let me see uh-huh. if I can get past whatever I'm feeling. I was trying to do, maybe everything he's doing will wash that out, and it just didn't. He must it have been a shady ass Relationships dude. don't work like that, though. Like, it takes time. Like, you feel me? Like, I've been with my girl for 12, almost 12 years. Damn. You feel me? Like, like, it's a lot of things that I'm either still doing now, <laughs> or... Literally changed, yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Like the over the time, yeah. Like ago. you feel me? So yeah. like, like you can't just judge somebody off a month, and that's the only problem you got with them. Yeah. You feel but me? Why, but look, but why does she have to go into a relationship? If that's what that's what we're saying. She should have never even started that. Because yes. it's low key putting your past trauma. But like the so the month confused. relationship is not wrong with that. So that's, those are all like what happened? The month relationship. I'm talking about from a man's perspective. I'm talking yeah. about from a man's perspective. Like, like I, I agree with her situation. Like, yeah, like, but I just feel like from a man's perspective, it's like, guy, it's like, like bro, I ain't even like get into this for yeah, it to yeah, just yeah, be yeah. a month. You a chance to show your, your yeah. true side. Like, from the guy's perspective, it's like, why you even waste my time? I'm not saying that he was on that type of time. I don't know what he was thinking. Yeah. But yeah. I know, was. But I know for me. He came at me. Why are you going to waste, waste my time like that? It's yeah. like, right, okay. But what if in that month, right, he just, he was like, he ain't fucking with her for whatever reason. He would be wrong or not? Nah. So Wait, what? Like Wait, randomly? Say that again. Yeah, like, yeah, so, so, not the energy like, he's that, giving. In that one Wait, month. Wait, say that no, one more time. No, no, it don't got to be what him, but I'm saying, like, in general, so general, for, like, in, in general, general like, in that month that y'all did it, what y'all was doing, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What if he was like, what if he was like, yo, I want to be with her, but her shit was black, right? Mm-hmm. And he just decided, like, I don't want to be with you no more. So I was saying, like, is he wrong for that? And no. it's the same thing from a so woman's that's perspective. Like it's, the same it's, like, shit. it's like, yo, why did you even have me wait for, like, I feel like what y'all saying, like, I wouldn't do that. Because if, if something turned you off, then yes, leave. I would, get, I would get upset if you were turned off from the jump, knew you didn't want something serious at all, and then did it anyway just to revert back. That's different. Like, but that's exactly what you just yeah, did. No, that's exactly what you did. I tried it. I tr- like, it wasn't that I was looking at him and I was like, okay, fuck you, never. Like, but you said he wasn't doing anything else wrong. You said you, could, so you, said you looking, couldn't get past that. I know. Right? So I was looking at him like he does this, he does that. Let me, like... Maybe it's not that big of a deal. Maybe I can try this. There's nothing wrong right. with him. <clears throat> and it just, it wasn't, ha- I, like, I tried it. Like, it just wasn't but, happening. But at that point, it's just, it's not him. It's, it's, it's not. It's like but then I left. past traumas, right? Like, well, I, like, I respect, like, of course I respect and I respect the honesty. But at that point, like, if he's showing, like, if he's actually trying to be a gentleman, showing interest, showing that he's into you, that's not, like, he didn't do any, like, I guess the initial initial saying but i feel like it would be better for you to have that conversation and talk to the person so they know no she didn't and they they understood that no no but see (laughs) i wouldn't want to understand it either if i was him but (laughs) But, like (laughs) but that goes to exactly what i'm saying like you feel me like 
Like, so, boom. I think me and Dom are on the same page. Huh? I think me and you on the same page. Yeah, like, one night stands, like, you feel me? I just feel like, I mean... Yo, I just feel like, yo, I feel like a month is a good enough time to understand if... Like, even if someone does something and you don't jack it, like, I don't... Personally, with me, I feel like everybody's different. With me, I think I don't got too much time. I'm not giving you more than, like, a month. Two weeks, three weeks. Like you do some shit, and I'm trying to like, all right, let me just see past that. And I'm really not seeing past that. It's no point. Then it's but no that's point. What I'm so yeah, I respect that. So Going that's than a but that's what I'm saying. I'm done from the so, jump. Yeah. So that's different. I'm talking about with Emily from the jump, and not even just Emily, just in general, like people in general, knowing something from the jump, knowing who they are as a person, knowing that this is something I don't like, and if I, excuse me, and if I know me, I know. It's not going to flip a switch. I'm not going to get over this in a month. But I didn't know that. I tried. Like she tried for the month. Really it didn't go wrong. Yeah, I didn't know that yeah, I was just cool. going to be like, like, yo, okay. like we I all talking right now that's cool. from experience. But like, right. let's keep it real. There might be a person that come across. You might He might munch you the first night or I might whatever the first night. Well, not me, but might whatever the first night. <laughs> but, and then. That really might be your husband or wife, right. but and an it experience can be. It could possible. Happen. It could yeah, happen. Like, and it I don't want to say it can't happen. That was happen. my point. Like, it's, it, possible. Yeah. It's, it's possible. It's possible. It's definitely but possible. But then that person, if Not it w- if it was him, I wouldn't have yeah, felt the way I felt. Yes, exactly. She wouldn't have felt that way. Mm-hmm. I would have felt like, like okay, this is worth it. The vibes are vibing. The vibes are vibing. I can respect that. Yes, I agree with that. I agree. Because like, because I so because then there's another element where it's like, all right, so if she did that and waited five months, a nigga would have been like, yo, you wasting my time. Right. Yeah, that's true. That's right. true. So that's why. So it's I, like, but yeah. you gotta just come up with it. I guess it's like how long it takes for you to just be like, yo, I can't do that shit. No but more. things could have changed within that five months. She could have felt more in love with him. With things could have changed. Yeah. They, but if things they did changed. it, I wasted time. Sometimes you run it. Sometimes you run it back. Though. That's where the whole spinning the block comes from, right? <laughs> <laughs> because she, I don't want to say too much. Like, you, <laughs> me? you might spin the block. Me? No. You might not. You feel me? Like times change. Don't me wrong. It was fire, but like. No, like oh, Tyro. Tyro. Too? Oh. Yo, Tyro. Yo, Tyro. Leave. Listen. We, yo, Tyro. Move on. Move on. Move on. Yo. Move like, on Tyro. We off of Tyro. We off of Tyro. Sorry. No, he like, needs to move. Tyro needs to move on. Yes. We off of Tyro. Tyro, shout out I to you. Hope you're doing all right. Like, yeah. yes. I hate, it. I hate it. It must have been fire, too. Tyro trying to hit you back up. It must have been fire. Yeah, we're going to check back in like two, three years. Yeah. See if Tyro enter back. She was married to Tyro. Check back up on this. Remember this date, <laughs> March tenth. <10th. sighs> Tyrone lit out here. Man, he's, great. My he's got thirty great. minutes. So yo, so I, I just want to let you Tyrone know. Tyrone watch this with the, the next grill on his face. Wait, he don't even know, know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. She talking about me yeah. now. Yeah. Yeah. She said it was fire. She gonna be like, oh, that's funny. Wait, Emily. Emily, how old are you? Exactly, you talking about? Twenty-five, twenty-six. Or I just feel like. You feel me? Once you hit closer to that 30 mark, you're going to look at the, the group of guys that's single. You might hit that nigga Tyrone. Right? <laughs> <laughs> you might hit know, him back like, like yo, Tyrone. But that's not. Somebody better call Tyrone, <laughs> man. But that, that, that sounds more than it's like circumstantial. And that's not real. Nah, that's real if you make it real. Yeah, no, it's real. It's, 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 it's about before. perception. <laughs> like, you feel me? It's about perception. Like, if you feel I'm me? only hitting him up because I'm. Approaching thirty and yo, men so, around me are trash, bro. That's a thing, oh, honey. Yo, nah, wait till you get you older. Yo, a couple men, then you talk about it, Karan. Like, the way Tyrone was trying to treat me is like really the way I want somebody to treat me. That's the thing, and it's rare to yeah. get that. I just no, feel like I know that's how I want someone to treat me. I know thing. it is, Unfor- but like I'm just not gonna force something. Like- All right, so let me ask you a question. When Tyrone grabbed you by the ankle, right? <laughs> She having flashbacks right now. Hot flashbacks. Yeah, that shit just sounds yeah. so crazy. Like, why he chose to do it like that? Yo, yeah, shout out to you, Tyro. I got to do right, so much look, editing. When Tyro grabs you by the ankle, right? Why you ain't just say no so you could take him serious? Mm, that's a good question. Ooh, put yourself Ooh, accountability. I can, okay, I can take accountability for that, but then that's on me. That's not on you. So if I have to be the reason. He asked you a question, though. Ooh. Why didn't you I'm say no? Why you answer it? I'm answering oh, it because if I. If I had to be the reason, if I had to stop you, I'm not going to be around you in the future where so, you have to oh, stop just yourself. The, the whole a partnership that like, you're trying yeah. to build. You yeah. got to remember that. It's a partnership you're trying to build. Yeah. It ain't just him. It's both of y'all. Yeah. Oh, that's too early. But you're saying partnership on first but she day. Talking, but she's all off the rip talking about, yeah, I, I, I can't be with that. him if that's what he's doing. Yeah. 
Off the rip, she's about that. Yeah, but like, yeah. feel me? Just a young brother who's... who's I feel like that's me. too early to be saying all that, like, partnership or, like, what I'm it's looking just, for. Like, you whenever you meet, you this I, whenever day, you right? meet this anybody... This is first whenever day, Whenever you bro. meet anybody, it becomes a relationship. No. Whenever you meet anybody. You feel me? Bro. When you see that another person that you met before down the line, you're going to be like, oh, I know him. Yeah, that's that's a relationship. That's a relationship. I, yeah. Okay. yeah. Bro, but just just because you go on a date with someone for the first night don't mean you have to think about future. All right, and that person not dying tomorrow. Mm. They can though. Yeah. And then you only and went on the first date with them. It. You'll get over it soon. Yeah. <laughs> like I I'm with it. you, bro. I'm I with you, bro. It. Like what yes. the fuck? I'm like, with you, bro. I'm with yes. you, bro. I go on the first date. You start saying some shit about future. I might look at you funny. Like chill, enjoy the moment. Like let's just chill. Yo, man. where the hell is this motherfucker? Like why? Why do? You, why do you have to go on the first date and tell me? <laughs> like you could tell me what you're dating for, so I can get an understanding of what you what you're doing. But uh-huh. you don't gotta put that on me. Facts. Like. Facts. I might be. I might just got a relationship. Right. You might just got a relationship. Mm. I ain't trying to hear all that right now. Like we're, <laughs> yeah, no, we're, we're just vibing. Feet. We're having Facts. a good night. We're, we're having we're a great night. Like, we're just doing that. But I understand that some women, when they do date, they do date for the future, which I totally understand that, and I think that's great. I think that's awesome. I actually listened to a podcast, and this guy was saying how when women on the first date, they should like shut the fuck up, and like not say anything because. Half the time they say what they like and a guy what they need a guy. They never know if the guy that they're meeting happens to be a uh, fuckboy, manipulator, anything like that. Cause they, cause just let the action speak for itself. Yeah, exactly. Don't say nothing. Don't just say let, shit. Just, because at the end of the day, the guy might lie. Like, yeah, I'm about having kids. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want to have kids, move out, whatever the case may be, and just lie to get what they kind of want. So Cause people's actions is gonna speak for itself. Actions will always speak louder right. than words. Right. Yeah. Actions right. always speak louder than words. Right. Shout out to Tyrone. Oh, shout not, to, no, I guess no shout out to Tyrone. <laughs> don't shout out to Tyrone. Bro. Fuck that nigga. Mm. Fuck Tyrone. He don't yeah, listen to Tyrone, this. Bro. I feel like that's where that dry patch come from though, because like when you go on that first date, like it don't gotta be a perfect first date, but like if you vibing, like that's where like like I'll be honest, good sex is a must in relationship for me. Yes. So mm-hmm. like, but like, the vibe is kind of harder to come by. Oh hell yeah! So yeah. like, it is. Uh, you could go find good sex, but like, so like, if I'm vibing with you, people. like that mean more to me just on a first date trying to like, fuck. That's if true. that's what I'm going to that date for. Yes. Yeah. Like, yes. Yes. That's true. Hundred percent. I agree. Hundred percent agree. So great topic, guys. That was a good topic. I yeah, only got forty five minutes. That was a goodie. <laughs> He's Liddy out here. In the he probably streets. gas as fuck now. Um, Shout out to my nigga Tyrone. <laughs> I'm saying. I'm about to hit That's Tyrone. You get hot flashes yeah. right now. You need some water? He was waiting. great, bro. I know. He just, I he just needs pause, 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 pause. Somebody who That's wants what he wants. wants. Oh. Yeah, but like. If it would have been for me, I wouldn't have felt the way I felt. I'm very big on that. Like. If she go left, hit Tyrone. Oh, Tyrone <laughs> definitely got your heart. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> sure, oh, he got your like, soul, man. bro. <laughs> he got your what soul. <laughs> if she leave here and hit Tyrone, what that mean? No, I'm not. I'm not. I literally, I'm not. What that bro, mean? you gonna be uh, thinking about gonna, Tyrone for the rest of your gonna, life. She gonna, <laughs> Tyrone is dead. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. <laughs> Hey, what else we got down there? <laughs> <laughs> so many. Up, oh shit, that was funny. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, that was that, that was a really good segment. I needed that. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, um, what you got going on, bro? Um, I see that you're into you're making you got your brand starting and everything like that. Talk to me about what's going on with that. Right. How'd you get into it, by the way, too? Because yeah, I, I would have never guessed it? that. Yeah. How did I get into what, like making clothes? Yeah, I would have yeah. never guessed that coming from you. I feel like he's always been a fly dude. Nah, I feel yeah, like, I, like, I can always see that. I just like growing up. Mm-hmm. I feel like I, I was one of those that like I just spent my last on clothes. Yeah, like I do whatever just to get money just right. for clothes. Like, mm-hmm. like I like I ain't like struggle or nothing like that. Like I just even when I did have bread, like it was just mo- mostly going towards clothes. Like. Mm-hmm. Every single time. So the genuine interest, like you were just interested in that shit. Yeah. Right. So yeah. like I feel like I just got to pick and choose. At first I feel like when I started doing like dressing up, I was picking and choosing what everybody else was wearing. Okay. But what I like from it. Now like I just feel like I could pick and choose what I w- I feel like I could just get fly with just picking and choosing what I want to wear. Obviously like I'm gonna wear certain brands that other people are wearing, but like mm-hmm. 
I could just wear how I want to wear it or put it the way I want to put it. So, with that idea, I was just like, shit, why not make my own clothes? But I, I've been, I've been kind of, I've been doing it with my team, like PIF. Shout out to PIF. I've been doing it with them since like 2019, 20, nice. 2020. Okay. So. Um, I still do it with them, but I kind of branched off, um, and I just had a, uh, a nephew, shout out to my nephew, Deme, uh, Valentine, so I was like just, I got a lot of stuff going on right now, so yeah. I had a conversation with a friend one day, and then they was basically telling me like, like, forget what you got going on, you just kind of, you got to like, do something, like, you got to find your place type shit, so after thinking, having a conversation with certain people, I'm like... Well, I ain't really just get into like starting my own shit. Oh, yeah. You yeah. got nothing to lose. Yeah, like really. So it's like with that like you just said, like with nothing to lose, it's like, why not? Yeah. So I just started getting into that. So like this is like kinda like a it's like my first shirt I ever made right here. I kinda handed this. Oh, um I got the Udeme on the back. Um, All right. So like I just got into that but so right now, like, that's my whole focus right now. Like, I did the whole, I used to work in a school for, like, five years. I saw that, man. Yeah, so, like, right now, I'm kind of just focused on, like, just fashion. Really? Okay. Like, that, when people be like, yo, you got to do what you love, like, I love money, but I also love fashion. Mm -hmm. Like, that's, like, the two things I love, like, besides my family and stuff like that. But it's just, like, money, fashion. Money gets me to fashion. In an ideal, like, scenario, like, where do you see, like, where would you want to, like, ideally see your brand? Like, would you want to, like, have a, a brick-and-mortar, like, storefront? Would you like to, like, style other people or, like, work with other brands? Like, where, in an ideal situation, where would you want like, your brand to be? I want, like, I want my, I want my shit in sacks. Mm. Like, you want to, like, license it off to, like, other retailers? Yeah, maybe. like, okay. obviously, I'm going to start doing my own thing at first, but, like, I kind of want to put my, st my stuff in stores like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, like I'm, like the reason why I didn't drop so fast, cause I'm, I'm like strategically doing what I'm doing right now. Like I'm going away from the whole merch idea. Like, okay, like everybody got merch. Mm. I'm trying like, like it's going it's merch, but I'm trying to make like real clothes. Like focus on the design. Like when you going the outside, quality and shit. Yeah. you like I right, I want to put this on. Mm -hmm. Like certain stuff you are gonna have like yeah I want to go to the gym chill out like I got a nice shirt on but mm -hmm. nice sweats on but. I want to make clothes where it's like, like I feel good right now. Like mm. I wear this on my birthday type shit. Like, right. That's like Lifestyle. that's where I see my shit in the future. So okay, because a lot of people like uh, with merch, you could just like just take a t-shirt and just print anything on the yeah. t-shirt. But like mm -hmm. for the actual brand and actual like good brand at least, it's more right. like the life. Like it's a, if it's a lifestyle brand, you could it's not just a print. It's mm -hmm. it's a design. It's, fucking what goes into everything like uh, and the jacket it's like uh, i mean you could just get it i mean i know it's like that's some real fashion shit like most niggas ain't really into that and like that's the thing a lot of people you have to tell people what's hot like most mm -hmm. people are not gonna know like mm -hmm. what's hot you know you gotta go for like the influence of people who's actually like into that shit who's genuinely like into that shit mm -hmm. to set the trend so i mean that's fire that you're not just looking at it as like oh anybody could just print a shirt like i want to Focus on the design. I, like, I, I could print shit. a shirt right now, mm -hmm. post it online. Yeah. Website posted online. You could probably sell shit. Like you, you got, got, you got yeah, like, you got I know that. Friends, family, like yeah. support and stuff. Yeah. yeah. But like, I don't want to do that. I want, mm. I want to put it out where obviously I'm still gonna drop, but I want it to be on some like, or somebody wear that and they post it. Somebody's looking at that like, yo, what is that shirt? Facts. So they yeah, yeah. writing that person like, what is that? I right, this the website like that's that. So like I'm trying to really like get into my creative side like I'll be having days where like I might sit down and think about it and like it's just not hitting mm -hmm. but I, f I know when it's gonna hit and when it hits it's gonna make sense mm -hmm. so I'm kind of being patient about it but like my goal is to really drop this summer like I was supposed to drop January and then like I got like I got stuff going on and it's like I couldn't really focus on putting my best stuff out while I got that going on so gotcha. I just have to take a step back so but when's like, your birthday? it's coming though who me? when's your birthday? S September 28th are you a bird? I'm a no. Libra no that's not bird no she, he's a uh, Libra. He's a Libra Libra oh, Libra okay okay it's a Libra okay so was it hard to uh, <coughs> excuse me because I always hear that 
when people want to do like certain crafts, they have to make sacrifices. And I know you said you worked at a school for five years. And was that like a hard transition to go from like making consistent money working at a school to now going into fashion world, creating clothes where in the beginning you're not going to make too much money as much as you can do consistently at a school because you're going to be working on your craft and spending money on your craft. Mm -hmm. So like was like a hard transition to kind of leave that consistent money to go to like every now and then I might make something, uh ah-ah, or was it just like all hands on deck and it matter to me type shit? Yeah. (laughs) I can't really say nothing but just yeah. We got you. It was a big transition. Like we just got to, it's different. Like when I was like in my last job, like I was Monday through Friday. And I'm like, I'm on salary. So it's like, regardless, even if I call out of work, like, yep. regardless, I'm straight. It's a set schedule. Set, set schedule. Set uh, yeah. a salary. Like, you know everything. Mm-hmm. Regardless, like, it's I got time. Already. I can just take over. I can travel. I can do whatever. And yeah, yep. I'll be straight. Yep. Like, now it's a little different. Even, like, even that, I'm not making money through my brand right now. Like, I'm putting money into my brand. Yes, so, sir. Like, and that's you got, the, And you got equity in your brand. It's something that's yours yeah. that you can pass down to your children, Facts. to your family. Like, yep. it's something that... It's yours. Facts. You know? Like, shout out to my, my Domo, because, like, even with that, in Day Day 2, because it's, like, it's a process. Like, we, yeah. we just, I got an LLC for a whole nother Good shit. business that we doing Good right shit, now. Man. So, like, like everything is all going to come full circle soon. So, Facts. Like, yes. Facts. I mean, so That's like, fucking dope, man. I yeah. love that shit. I love that shit. Especially from upstate, too. Like, that shit is fire. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, Damn, I had a brain fart. Oh, did you have certain questions you wanted to ask on the platform? Not yet. Not yet? Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> we recorded for an hour and 20. I know. Nothing's, like, peeked at me yet. Oh, my God. Well, I will, I will ask you one thing. Do you, because um, I know a couple of people that started making their own clothes, and they all seem to have, like, the same struggle of, like, who to find, or do you do everything yourself? Well, manufacturing, nah, that's the biggest, like, yeah. problem. Or not problem, yeah. but it's, like, a ta- it's. It's like, like it's, it's not struggle? easy to, to find. Like a lot, of, it's a lot of ge- like gatekeeping. You gotta like find mm-hmm. out what, through other people and shit. What would you advise? What would you? What would your advice be? I don't really have too much advice because I ain't really like make it happen yet. <laughs> so I would just advise if you know, hit me up. Okay. But, <laughs> okay um, so for me, it's like that's that's the hardest part. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is finding what you want because you might. Like, everybody know about Alibaba. You might go on Alibaba. You might see something you want, but it's really not what's shown yeah. in the picture. So, what it is, yeah. it's like, I just had a, I had a whole order of glasses come in, and I'm, like, hype about it. And then when they came, they, like, plastic, weak glasses. Mm. Like, but, like, on Alibaba, it's saying something completely different. So, yeah, yeah. I got two sip. I basically, like, threw it out. Like, mm-hmm. it was like, 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 one of them glasses you get for kids, like, mm. It was one of those. Like, I didn't even show nobody that because yeah. I was, like, fake embarrassed about that. Like, that's what? part of the game. Like, you got to yeah. experiment type shit, you know? So, like, I know, um, like, my man's, like, 100, like, my son Dave, like, he does the whole embroidery. Like, I told you, I've been doing this with my team, making clothes and stuff. Mm-hmm. So, like, he got the shop in Long Island. So, like, I already got somebody that could make it. So, the hardest part right now is just finding the right materials. Like, like I got, like, a whole sweat so I'm trying to, like, come out with so I gotta find the right sweatsuit like I don't know I hate wearing like not that I hate but I like I, I it's different to me like when I wear like cheaper sweatsuits I'm chilling but like if I'm going out I don't like wearing like cheap mm-hmm. sweatsuits so like I'm trying to find like like something like if you going outside like <laughs> I'm gonna like I'm gonna put that shit on like that's that's like really what I'm going for right now like I don't really like I said I could just put Udeme on a shirt right now and just post it online and then if I'm doing it for the money, then I would do that. Like, yeah. mm-hmm. like obviously I, I'm doing it for the money, but it's more to that. It's a brand that I'm putting out for myself. So, okay. So. so, how do you keep from getting discouraged with everything that comes with this? I dress up every day. Like, <laughs> like if you ask people that's around me, like you know what I mean. Like, not that I dress up every day, but like. He that's always really, got some shit on. Like, that's like my Even thing. Even on his bummy days, he always got some shit on. Mm-hmm. Like, For me, like, people that don't dress like that, they'll look at him and be like, oh, he trying to be fly. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Meanwhile, that's calm just, fit. that's calm. It's just gotcha. part of him, yeah. Like, I, I'm Regular like shit. so into that shit. Like, like even when like, I, like you were talking about earlier, when we started this, like, with all this shit going, like, you got shit going on in your life, I find peace in that. Like, 
I might just be on my phone looking up clothes, like, Got what you. next? Like, just Got figuring you. out, like, how I'm about to put certain things together and stuff like that. Like, that's fine. I like that. Yeah. I like, like that. that's, like, that's, like, like that. big to me. So, it's, like, that's why it was kind of easy to get into this, because it's, like, this is the shit I'm on every day. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I'm not even talking like I'll be on some like super fly shit every day. Like I don't, but I, I always think about clothes. Like I always think about like how to put certain fits together. Like I might go outside and see somebody. I'm just like, hey, that's a fire fit. Yeah. And I might tell you that. Like I, I tell people mm-hmm. that sometimes. Like oh, I like the sneakers. I like this, this, and this. But yeah. that's fire because it's like gen- and I feel like that's where a lot of people go wrong because they don't be genuine or they're not honest with themselves. Like. Mm-hmm. A lot of people just see shit that that's trendy or like yeah. they see people trying to start brands and it's like you can kind of just tell when people are just in it for the fad yep. type shit compared to people who's just like yo fad. free time like I'm really fucking just looking up this shit I'm just I'm just mm-hmm. out shopping I'm just out trying to get pieces together like this is like, like what I'm doing so I, I respect that man you know it's, you know it's funny it right sense. you know it's funny right I told Dom with this right before we got here mm-hmm. like Karan you you always been one of them the people to me like that like get fly. Thank right, you. like even in high school, right? Even when I'm thinking like I'm getting fly, like people like you, Aramis, like certain people Facts. in our school, right? Shout out to Aramis. Shout out to Aramis. Aramis. Facts. Like, Bro. I'm looking at y'all the way y'all dressing. I'm just like, I'm thinking that first because I'm tall. Like, yo, I can't do certain shit like that. Definitely harder for sure for you. you feel me? For like sure, I can't sure. do certain shit like that. Like, like one of my idols right now is Pharrell. Like. And Pharrell be on some like fashion skinny shit, science, skinny short like, nigga shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, skinny short nigga shit, like, but this shit is like, like, bro, you could wear whatever you want, like, yeah, like, it's like as long as you put it together. Yo, I might wear. That's why, like, they be seeing like basketball players. They be wearing these wild ass fits, and they be like, yo, he bugging. Yeah. But in like, his mind, yeah. in his mind, he's the flyest nigga out here. Yeah. Yeah. And I feel like that's real fashion. When you get to that yes. part, then you like you really yes. tapped in, like. When you going outside, like, and you so worried about what other people think about what you're wearing. Yeah, Obviously, yeah. you want to dress good and you, like, want to put yourself together. But, like, I feel like fashion, like, when you really get into that, it's, like, you really trusting in what you, like, what you like, what you feel like is a fire fit or shit yes. like that. Yes. Mm. Totally agree. Like, totally fucking agree. How do you deal with, like, criticism? Like, do you, or not even criticism, but, like, how, as far as... Even like, let's say if you have uh, design ideas, like, do you ever share anything prior to like, do you have people that you be like, yo, like, check this out before I even like put this out, or do you have anybody you trust as far as like even showing designs prior to releasing them? Like everything so far, like this is my right, and yeah, when it yeah. comes to that, like, I, I like I, I I be telling about certain things, but like, I kind of keep that to myself. Okay. Cause I also understand, like I just like I did it with my team for so long, where we send ideas and stuff like that, and basically what we putting out is based on what four or five people think is like the right thing. So like I kind of like like the only person I'll be honest is like my girl, like yeah, like anything that I considered already, she done seen. Mm -hmm. Like like I I I I really trust her opinion. So like I'll show her. Like I've shown I've shown Damos. Like I've shown him stuff before too. Mm-hmm. But at the, at the end of the day, we all independent over me, stretch. Yeah. That's what we yep. really yeah. jack. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. So like, if he he only hit me up if he really needed an opinion. Mm. You feel me or some help for real? You feel me? Like mm. you, you, real independent over here. Sure. And he know you probably gonna be real. You gonna get the genuine like, yeah, opinion like type shit. Exactly. For me, but at the end of the day, like I wouldn't even want him to really like show me his designs because. I want him to do, you know, what he do. Mm-hmm. You feel me? Like I, what I, he like, like you can look at how we both dress. Like we both dress different. Mm-hmm. But it's want, like it's biased. You feel me? Yeah, and yeah. I feel like I feel like with me and him, like for me to show him certain things, it's kind of biased because mm-hmm. he been around me so long okay. that like he. I feel like even what I just said, fashion is he understands that already. Like mm-hmm. there's certain stuff that I put on, I come around, he's clowning me for it. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what's yeah. the I got the the, the blush out the track ones like yo. Like he had on these blue Prada shits, bro. I took a picture to make a joke. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody like, yo, they fuck with him. Some people don't fuck with him, obviously, but like, yeah. so I understand like with him, it's kind of biased because it's like, he know like, sometimes he might see me wear something, he's like, yo, that's a bullshit, but he just like, all right, that's what he's on right now. Yeah. Like he might like, oh, you want some fly shit right now, but in his mind, he's like, never going to wear what I'm wearing. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he would yeah, never wear yeah. it. So, like, that's why I love fashion because it's like everything is different for everybody. You know, it's just not one right. right thing or right way to do it. You know, 
That's fire. That's a fact. Mm-hmm. I can say it makes sense for Manny. Yo, Manny's just, he's he's one of those dudes too that back in the day it's like all right, we acknowledge. Had some shit know, on. Real <laughs> real, you know I struggled though. So I was tall. I struggled with like getting the right sizes. Yeah. Like that was sure. with the whole thing when you say uh, like in your past like. Like now, like I got a car, I could drive to the store. Like mm-hmm. if I don't got something at Woodbury or around here, I'm in the city with it. Like, Facts. Like, like just start like American Dream. Like I love American Dream. Shout out to American Dream. Shout out to American Dream. I haven't been but to that mall yet. Really? I just went for the first time last year, and I've been like shit, like five, six times since. Oh shit! Sure. They got everything for sure. Mm-hmm. For sure, for sure. It's the biggest spot. I gotta pull up on that. Um, that's fucking dope. No, it makes sense. It definitely makes sense for Manny. And I really do fuck with the design. Even like what he got on, like mm. that shit's oh. hard. Like yeah. you would have really thought that's some like avant garde. Like you would have bought that. <laughs> nah, that shit is hard. Barney's, you know what I'm nah, saying? Yeah. Really hard. I was just trying to sample like a thicker T-shirt. Yeah, like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Tell him, tell him, tell him what you was telling me. You was like, how how you gonna incorporate your brand? Like how you gonna make people fuck with it? What you mean like how? Yeah. Like. Remember Basically. what you were saying, peace and shit, everything? Yeah, like, so, like, I feel like, all right, so, boom, like, with me, I don't know about everybody. I don't wear, like, certain brands don't go together. Mm. Like, I, like Adidas and Nike, obviously, that's easy, but, like, mm-hmm. I, I, how do I say this? Like, I'm not going to wear, like, when I wear certain things, I just feel like I try to, like, put it together in a certain way. Mm. So, with my brand, obviously, like, I want to, like, it's like a luxury brand. Like, I want it to be like a, a rule, like a, um, let's see, I like stuff like that too. Yeah, like, yeah. let's see, I go Prada, like stuff like that. So like, I would wear my stuff with that kind of stuff. Okay. Like, all right, so if you went to the gym and you see somebody coming in with a Prada t-shirt on and they're playing basketball, for me, I'm looking at it like, either it's fake or you're doing too much. <laughs> yeah, facts. Facts. Mm-hmm. 100%, 100%. Like, like, yeah. It's like. One of those, like either either it's fake or you're doing too much. So like, with my like with my brand, I kind of just wanna, like I don't think you're about to be wearing my shirts to be going to play basketball, like unless yeah. like it's like a higher like quality, a, yeah. yeah. Like mm-hmm. that's like I know what you're really saying. Like going that. into, it. but yeah. I gotta get there though. Like I understand how hard that is, and like that's that's like the the journey I'm on right now. I think the most important thing is knowing how you want to go about shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The craziest thing Get in there is the easiest, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I think the hardest thing is just wondering how the fuck... Get to the yeah, the level. foundation, where you want to go with it, the direction, who you want to bring on, all the other stuff. Mm-hmm. To me, that's the hardest part. I think it's for me, like with this podcast, it was hard for me to figure out how I wanted to go about it. He made it easier. Karan made it easier for me because he was the only person I thought of. If he said no, I don't know what the fuck <laughs> I was going to do. Mm-hmm. Because mm-hmm. there was only a few people I felt comfortable to really be myself around. Mm-hmm. And me and him think alike, so it wasn't really that hard for me to think about him. But to me, the beginning stuff about finding out who I want to come on, the equipment, what, I, what we want to talk about, where we're going, all that stuff is the hardest part. Now, mm-hmm. us doing it, to me, was the easiest. So the mm-hmm. fact that you have the foundation and where you want to go with it is a fucking great accomplishment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Shout out to that. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Like, I really, I really, like, I really mess with his, like, business idea, like, how he want to go about it, because, like, that's why, that's why I had, I wanted him to make it clear, like, you feel me, like, like, the only way you're going to be able to, you know, market that, that way is if you make it clear, like, yo, this is for the fly niggas, bro. Yeah, yeah. You feel me, like, it. you feel me, like, talk about it, feel me, like, like, for real, like, you feel me, like, and I really wanted him to say that, because that's how it were, I really believe in it. Like, this is the most I ever talked about this, like, for real, for real, hey. like, out loud, like, facts. Like, it'd be, like, for real, for real, like, I don't, I don't want to make something for everyone. Yes. Mm-hmm. It shouldn't be for everyone. For, like, a certain audience. Like, right. certain yeah. Kind of, like, yeah. And it's fine if you don't, like, even with the support, then you can support me without getting it. Yeah. Like, you don't yeah. have to get it. I don't really, I don't die for support. That's my thing, like. If I if whatever Talk I'm doing it. is hitting, Talk about it. you're gonna support me regardless. Talk about it. Mm-hmm. Like 